Hey everyone, it's me Stagger, and this was not requested at all, but I tend to notice that my friend was struggling with hexadecimal, and um, and so I decided to make a video on how to do hexadecimal. You will not be needing this in real life unless you're planning to become a programmer. So, pretty much. Uh, your only requirement is a scientific calculator. Um, however, if you do have, if you're using Windows 7 or Windows 8, you can actually go to a programmer calculator, or you can just look one up online. Just uh, it's uh, it should just be like the first link. Just type in hex desk, and that should give you your that should give you your calculator there. Anyway. But if we don't have one, if we don't have one, then that's what this is here for. So pretty much, what is hexadecimal? Hexadecimal is a number system ranging from 0 to F. Now, most of you are probably confused right now. What the heck? 0 to F? What the heck is that supposed to mean? Well, if we go to our original number system right here, we can see that it starts from 0 to 9 and then we go to 10 and this one in hexadecimal however we have to go through 0 to F oops, in order to reach 10 so most of you are still probably confused right now well okay our number system our typical number system our decimal number system goes uh, is has a base of 10. In other words, this has to cycle 10 times before it can add 1 to the next to the next place. So in other words, you know, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then it goes to 10, and then so it goes to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then at and then because it reached 10 numbers in the ones place it has to add by one so it has to add the next the number next to it by one and then restart the cycle again so in the case of hexadecimal though we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 a b c d e f 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 1 A, 1 B, 1 C, 1 D, 1 E, 1 F, and then it goes to, and then, and then it resets the cycle, adds this by 1, or adds this by 1, and then reset the cycle. So, pretty much, instead of going by your typical tens, or ones place, tens place, hundreds place, etc. You go from ones place, sixteens place, uh, to fifty six place, etc. And my cat got in. Crap. So if you hear me yelling in the background, it's because of my cat. Anyway, so now let's go ahead and do an example problem here. Uh, darn it, Evie. Anyway, so let's say we have a number like 9D. So pretty much because we're going by 16s here, we can consider this as 16 times 16 times 9, oops, times 9 plus whatever's in the ones place because one times whatever is pretty much the number itself so so we don't really need to multiply it by nine that's an unnecessary step so if we consult our number line right here we can see that D is should be 13 because we're going from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we add this by 13. So let's go ahead and get our calculator out. 
because 16 times 9 is pretty redundant um, because we tend to memorize our, our multiplication by 12. So 16 times 9 should be 144. So 144 plus 13. And then we just simply add that together. And so we should get 157. And we can check our answer by using a hexadecimal calculator, like a programming calculator right here. So if we type in, if we t check the desk box and then type in 157 and then click on the hex, we should get 9D. So what if we have more than just two numbers here? Like let's say we have about four. So we go. So we use like a number D seven F three actually let's make it five. D seven F three A. So what we have to do here is go by is go by powers or exponentials or however you want to call it. So we have sixteen, sixteen squared, sixteen cubed, and sixteen to the fourth power. So, so first things first, 16 to the fourth power times whatever d is, which in this case it's 13, plus 16 to the third power, or 16 cubed times 7 plus uh, plus f is 15 oh wait sorry for <laughs> getting ahead of myself 16 squared times f is 15 so we do that by 15 plus plus 16 times 3 plus a is 10 so we just put that as 10 so here's what we really need our calculator for because 16 cubed, I or because 16 to the fourth power. Are you freaking serious? Anyway, so so 16. Oh, whoops! I'm not on my scientific calculator. Okay, so 16 to the fourth power should be 65536 times 13 plus whatever 16 cubed is should be 49 oh no 4096 times 7 oh oops wrong sign plus 16 cubed, or uh, squared, sorry. 16 squared should be 256 times 15 plus, and then we can go ahead and multiply this because everything positive is commutative, so it doesn't matter which order we do it. 16 times 3, which should just be 48. 48 and then plus 10 and now we got to get rid of the parentheses here so we do 65536 times 13 that should give us 851968 Plus, plus 4096 times 7 should be 28672 plus, oh whoops, no parenthesis, 256, oops, 256 times 15 
should be 3840 plus we can already we can already uh, add that up doesn't hurt anything so that should be 58 and now we just add it up so so now <laughs> gosh dang eight five one nine six eight plus two eight six seven two plus three eight four zero plus fifty eight equals eight eight four five three eight and again we can if we have a programming calculator we can test it out see if it's good by eight eight four oh whoops sorry we got first converted to hex uh, 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 nope, there we go clear so eight eight four f oh no five three eight and then change the hex and that should be d seven f three a all right so that's pretty much all that hexadecimal is converting it into so what if you want to go the opposite direction though say you want to do go from hex to des well i will admit this is a little more complicated for we need to do some crazy long division i mean crazy long okay so pretty much here's how it works um, let's say we have a number let's start with an easy one first like like 349 what we have to do is divide that by 16 so 16 times 2 that should be 32 2 9 1 so 16 then subtract that that should give us 13 and then 13 and the number line is is D so we have so we have D base 16 right here we're pretty much going by whatever is left over and we keep dividing until uh, until it can't be divided by 16 anymore since the top number is 21 we can still divide that by 16 so then we just divide that again but only number that will fit is 1 so if we were to do the math here 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 5 base 16 and then we have 1 base 16 so and then pretty much we have to go to the opposite direction of what we what we did so in other words our last number we got which is 1 will be our first number so our, our, let me change the uh, color on that um, I need my eraser here so we have 1 then we go by the remainder of 5 and then our last number is D and then we can check that again with the calculator if we have one so if we go 1 5 D and then convert that to des that should be 3 4 9 now let's go with a little bit more complicated problem <laughs> oh gosh I'm really not looking forward to this one okay say we have one nine six five three we just divide that by sixteen again and I barely left any room up there Hold on let me uh sorry let me restart one oh, dang it dang it sorry about that okay let's start down here one nine three six 
five. I know it's a different number, but we'll still work with it. Okay, 16. So then, obviously, we can't divide by one. So then, so then we. So the first number is one. Do that by three. Take down the other three. 33, um, two, which should be 32. Oops, 32, one. Then we bring down the other one. We can't really do anything, so that's zero. And then, so we go to five here. Now 115, we have a very big number. If we, if there's a number you can't really figure out by a simple, by a multiplication, uh, what I tend to do is I just simply divide that number by uh, whatever number I'm dividing it by and then that should give me my answer 7. Now I go ahead and see what it is. 7 times 16 is 112. It is 112 so so 7 then 112 should give me 3 base 16 but it's still divisible by 16 right now so we can go ahead and just divide that by 16 so 1 2 0 oh, 7 divided by 16 can't divide 12 by 16 so we had to go by 120 which we already confirmed that or wait I need to get my calculator again. I just want to see if I can go by 8. Yes, I can. So, oh wait, no, I can't. So I got to go by 7 again. 7, 1, 12, 1, 10, so 8. Then bring down the 7. And now. 87 divided by 16, so 5, 16 times 5 is 80, so 5, and then 80 right here, bring that down, so we got 7 base 16, but we can still divide it by 16, so up there, so then we go by 75, divided by 16. 16, which is the only one that can go by is 4. So it's by multiplying it by 4, so 64. So 64, so that should be 11 in our number line. 11 is B. So we just change that to B base 16 and we also got our number here base 16 so and then again we go backwards so from this number first 4 then this one B then this one 7 and then this one 3 so answer to 19,300 15 should be 4B73. And again, we can check that with the calculator here. So 4B73. Here we're at that desk. That's 19,315. And that's basically hexadesk conversion. And same thing, and vice versa, desk to hex. And pretty much. So that should be it. Hope you learned something. And um, if you're planning to be a good programmer, hope I really helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. And yeah, so that's it. And I will be seeing you.